rotations. There are some general rules about rotations. When you're on a test and they don't tell you which way to rotate, always assume it's going counterclockwise. When rotating 90 degrees, the x and y values will reverse and they will be the opposite of y and the x value will stay the same. When you're rotating 180 degrees, the x and y values will stay in the same place but it will be the opposite of x and the opposite of y. When rotating 270 degrees, the x and y value will stay the same place and the x, it will be the opposite of x and the same value of y. Okay. Now, if you're rotating clockwise, the 270 degree rule and the 90 degree rule will, will switch. Oh, hi! Come on over! <laughs> There's an easy way to do rotations instead of just doing the equation way. So, you're always going to assume that it's going to be counterclockwise. Here it says you're going to rotate a right triangle 90 degrees. So the easy way to do this, if you have a board or a paper, you're going to rotate counterclockwise one turn, which is 90 degrees, like this. Here we see that the new point, Katie, my helper, A will, be, will now be negative 2 comma 2. B will be negative 4 comma 2 and C will be negative 2 comma 1 2 3 4 now when we reverse it back to its original position we're gonna graph the new points here she connects the triangle and here's your 90 degree counterclockwise rotation thank you <laughs> now you try these are the points you should have gotten <laughs> reflections over lines we're going to be reflecting over lines. Okay, so if we had a positive linear slope, it would be y equals x. When reflecting over y equals x, you're going to reverse the x and y coordinates. So if we had the point negative 1 comma negative 2, it would then become negative 2 comma negative 1 because we reverse the x and y coordinates. Now, if we were reversing over the line y equals negative x, which is just another thing for a negative linear slope, we would have the points negative 1 comma negative 2, and it would then become 2 comma 1. It's all time. Translations. about transformation translations with x and y values so when training translating an x and y value if we were to talk about if it was shifting up or down we would change the y value so it would be x comma y plus or minus a number so, yeah a number which would be up or down so if let's give them an example if we were shifting a point down 10 units it would, it would be the new point would be x comma y minus 10 and the same goes if it was doing up 10 units, it would be y plus 10. Thank you, Katie. You are welcome. Okay. Now, if we were to shift left or right, since right is in the positive values and left is in the negative values, I guess you can pretty much guess what we're going to do. So for, let's give an example. If we were to translate a point 
five units to the left, the new point would be x minus five comma y. If we were to translate five units to the right, which is in the positive section, it would be x plus five comma y. Okay. <laughs> Ola, this is our example form. Okay, so for the example of the day, we have a point two comma one. So we're gonna put together shifting up and shifting down with the x and y coordinates together. So here we have, we're gonna shift it five units up and three units left, this point two comma one. So we're gonna deal with the x value first. Since it says three units to the left, we're, we're going into the negative range. So it's gonna be two minus three. And now we're gonna do five units up, which is gonna deal with the y values. Since we're going up, we're gonna deal with positive values, not negative. So we're gonna do one plus five. Now let my writer helper figure this answer out and simplify it. And here is our new answer, negative one comma six. Now, now you try. This should be your answer. We're going to be working with dilations now. Woohoo! <laughs> Switch lines. Hey! Day! Dilations. All right. So we're working on dilations today. We're going right to be now. working on dilating around the origin, just the origin, which is 0, 0. So here we have the point 3, 2. Our dilation factor is 4. Now, what, now, one thing you need to know is that if the dilation factor is greater than one, then the fa then your point or shape will be getting larger. If it's between zero and one, then it will be getting smaller. Since four is greater than one, then the point will be increasing. Or enlarged. Okay, so we have the, <laughs> we have the point three comma two. So since this is scale factor of four, we're gonna multiply four by the x value and the y value. So it's gonna be three times four and two times four. Then our new point will be 12, 8. Stop it. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. <laughs>